name is Ahmad Fauzi bin Ismail. I was uh, raised up uh, and my first uh, schooling in Kelantan, the north is of uh, Malaysia. And then my secondary school uh, in Malacca before I was accepted as a student uh, at University of Technology in Malaysia uh, for my first degree and my second degree. Uh, before I uh, got the uh, uh, Commonwealth Academic uh, Staff Scholarship to pursue my PhD at uh, University of Sharklight, Glasgow, United Kingdom. I'm the eldest of uh, six uh, siblings uh, and uh, my family, my father is a businessman my mother is a housewife, uh, helping my uh, father as well in doing uh, textile business. And we are, I could say, from a middle class uh, family. And the environment created, uh, established in our uh, uh, family is very positive, uh, minded and positive environment my late father, my late mother, as well as my late um, grandfather and grandmother uh, crafted this environment for their uh, children uh, to, to have the ability to express their mind uh, whether uh, this is uh, good or not that is secondary but environment to express whatever they want to say, that's important. That uh, influence who I am today as a student, as well as now as a staff, a lecturer, professor, and now as vice chancellor or president of University Technology Malaysia. This is important. The family is the root to whatever uh, environment that one could adapt and adopt in their future career and probably in their future life. Beyond that, when I was in uh, uh, about 16 years old and 17 years old at high school, when I did uh, ex an experiment during my uh, science uh, 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 class, the teacher asked us, all the students, uh, during this uh, science subject, to go and find uh, a certain uh, sample. The sample, probably uh, just a, 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 a mice, a mouse. And then we brought that uh, to the, 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 the lab, and we start to study. That also uh, start or created the interest in me. How in this world, such an animal, was you know created, and when I came to the the, the 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 first degree, that the question further enriched why, why not this, why not that? If I can do this, what is going to happen? That is start. When I finished my 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 first degree, I'm working but not so so long, what six seven months, and then I came back. <coughs> When one of my, one of my so-called at that time, um, uh, mentor, he, he is working in industry, petroleum industry, he said, Hi Fauzi, you have such a talent, why don't you continue your study? Get your master or your PhD. And this is a certain area that you can do. That's why I changed. I, I, I accepted that uh, 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 advice and challenge. So I started to do my second degree or master degree. I changed from petroleum to chemical engineering because I want to do more. I want to know more. Petroleum, yes, petroleum already. But chemical engineering is, is quite new for me. So if they have, I have that question in mind, I want to do this, I want to do that. So that's why my late uh, supervisor, I adapted a lot uh, to him for accepting me as one, one of his uh, master's students. In fact, 
the first master student under his supervision. So he the one who, who gave me opportunity to study membrane technology. I know nothing about membrane, but he did mention to me, Fauzi, because you don't know, probably you know more than what I do. So that's another challenge, positive challenge. That's why all this uh, mentorship is very important for the early career uh, development of a you know uh, a person like me who know nothing. So by his word, encouragement. That's why I keep on studying. I'm the first student, first of master student of my late supervisor at the time. So <clears throat> Alhamdulillah. I learned bit by bit about the technology. The environment that I have been into university, especially University of Technology Malaysia, is very encouraging. The staff, I mean the lecturer at whatever level are very humble, but very creative. They drive us, especially myself, to be always curious of whatever they teach us. That's very important. UTM is always our office, whereby the office that teach us, that taught us the way forward, especially in, 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 in our thinking capability. So this environment is very important. And I foresee this created a lot of positivity in myself for who I am today. And the most important things I would like to share with you here. During my study, with the advice from my supervisor, me and my supervisor discovered a few verses in the Holy Quran that describe the modern term called membrane technology in the verses in, in, in two verses in Surah Ar-Rahman and Surah Al-Furqan verses number 53 in the Quran somehow Allah mafum Allah in that Holy Quran said there's two river one is um, uh, um, uh, a bit uh, uh, salty and the river meet up but they do not transgress because it's a barrier that barrier the modern sign called membrane and because of that i really thousand you know percent confident inshallah whatever i do based on this verses in the quran it will be beneficial to the community to the mankind and probably to the entire world inshallah because of that I really believe because this technology being mentioned more than uh, 1400,000 years ago in the Holy Quran. A lot of obstacles, a lot of problems, but with a positive mindset. I always have this in my mind. This is very uh, challenging to us as well as to many other researchers as well. Other than that, Alhamdulillah, with the mindset, with whatever I want to do, I have a great team uh, beside me and behind me, in front of me. Uh, in fact, um, when I uh, uh, establish uh, Advanced Membrane Technology Research Center, for the first 10 years, I did not get any funding. You know, I did not blame, but this is, for me, make me resilient. Make me felt that I need to do something for myself, for the, the, the technology that, inshallah, I'm going to develop. So I write a lot of uh, 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 grant application from industry, uh, from ministry, you know. So Alhamdulillah, Allah help me. So when I believe that this is from Allah, 
even whatever it is, the risky or the whatever, you know. Uh, all before you ask me that question, deep in my mind, I don't consider that as a challenge. I consider that it is part and partial of a researcher, of a scientist, or whoever who would like to do something new. There's possibility that people might, you know, always question you. Why, Fauzi, you want to do this? Why not that? And they start, okay. Um, probably you have difficulties in getting the funding. This is, is, is normal, usual. If you want some, to do something new, and this new, probably you know, in the next five to ten years, then people realize. Then, of course, people, you cannot blame them as well. But I took that as a challenge, quote unquote, but I do not have any uh, uh, bad feeling whatsoever. Because I know I'm so dependent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that give me whatever I need. I don't depend on human being, you know, to, to, to push me or to facilitate me. Human being to me is just an enabler. Whatever I receive now, I got it now, is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because of that, MashaAllah subhanAllah, that made me who I am now. Wallahu alam. When you decided, like I am decided to become an academia, I do not want to be in industry. What actually you want to be at the end? So like myself, whatever Allah gave me the idea to develop membrane, nano-based membrane technology, my end in mind is to serve the community so that my, whatever Allah gave it to me in terms of the technology, the idea to develop this, must be benefited. Somebody's. Let's say, why community? Because they are the taxpayer money. They pay to the government. The government then, you know, uh, segregate it to certain ministry, like in Malaysia, to Ministry of Higher Education or Ministry of Science. Then this ministry, they evaluate our grant proposal. Then they give it to us. They give it to me, for example. It's the money came from the people, who, the taxpayer money. So in my humble opinion, we need to serve them. So what, what we or I can do is, this membrane tel can it be used to solve the community problem, people's problem. If you have that in mind, inshallah, I'm very sure. I've gone through this many, many years. There's always something that you can contribute. That something to me, whether it's this small or that big, it doesn't matter. Method is your contribution. And I also indebted to my uh, supervisor, uh, Dr. Simon Shilton. Uh, we are good friend until today. We are still communicating together. Inspire me uh, to do uh, uh, more research, and before I'm going there, I'm also really, really indebted to my uh, uh, master degree uh, uh, supervisor, who I mentioned my uh, earlier. That he's the one who opened up the door for me to understand membrane technology. The late Professor Dr. Hamdani Saidi from Faculty. Of chemical and natural resources engineering University Technology Malaysia. The father of a reverse osmosis membrane is the late, just passed away about a year plus ago, Professor Sori Rajan from uh, Ottawa, Canada. This history, as I mentioned, going back to uh, scientifically uh, 1960s, uh, you know, the historically it developed, you know, by the Muslim uh, uh, scientists as well. As I mentioned just now, the main factor is I want to give back, inshallah. Because Allah gave me 
a small uh, knowledge that I can, with his help, develop a product or a system called membrane for water treatment, wastewater treatment, sewage water, wastewater treatment, and inshallah in the near future, hemodialysis to treat kidney uh, uh, failure person. person. So this is what uh, uh, I wish I could continue producing it for the benefit of people, the community, in the name of God for mankind. The separation of uh, unwanted material from the sewage, the wastewater, or even uh, removing or separating the salt from seawater is a well-known uh, technology, especially using membrane because of the ability to efficiently and effectively separating those unwanted material. And it has been used, I think, membrane for uh, water treatment, seawater treatment has been uh, uh, developed uh, and implemented in small scale at the time in the 1960s. And since then, the evolution of the, uh, the membrane technology has been uh, very rapid. And now, uh, some membrane can be used as a reusable uh, 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 material. That have been used worldwide. The question just now: sewage, sea uh, wastewater, and seawater. This is among the top three or top four area that membrane play a crucial role. Uh, in other words, membrane is among the top priority technology implemented worldwide. This shows that the technology is very very viable and environmental friendly yeah. uh, this is why the technology is now is going to lead uh, in many other areas uh, especially in oil and gas as well so those who are involved in this area normally will be further developing the material and the membrane which is more resilient more sustainable uh, because the factor that you need to uh, study, you need to you know, uh, minimize. To solve, I don't think so. There must be some here and there that we cannot solve or 100% or, you know, solve, but we can minimize. So how are we going to do that? First, we need to improvise the membrane performance in terms of the flux or the productivity. And at the same time, we also need to increase and enhance the purity of the product that we Going to produce. This is where the material aspect involved to further develop or enhance the surface of the membrane where this surface play important role in separating the unwanted material. And though that, that the water the, that pass through the membrane, it depends on this material or this uh, call it film, thin film. That's why the nanotechnology play a crucial role uh, uh, because of the, um, the absorption capability and diffusion capability. Therefore, it can produce more uh, flux or productivity. And at the same time, it can also retain the quality of the product needed. And this is a challenge for membrane scientists to develop such a material. As I mentioned, because of the barrier, we need to improvise the barrier. That's why, in my research, I incorporated hierarchical nanomaterial, meaning that the separation can be conducted uh, based on the size of the material that is going to be separated. Those who larger material will first block or, or retain. You know? And secondly, 
uh, uh, slightly uh, uh, smaller biritin again. That's how, how I call it, hierarchical, hierarchy. So this is quite new. That's why some of my research in my team, we patented this. And uh, some of it we have uh, implemented at uh, 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 lab scale and uh, pilot scale. S uh, some of previously uh, uh, developed, we already have uh, commercialized it, uh, being used uh, in industry as well as in community. So that is the factor that uh, me and my team have uh, developed. And on top of that, not only the material, but we prove the flux or the productivity also increases significantly by retaining certain purity, desired purity, by uh, 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 based on our uh, standard. Uh, this is something new. That's why we, we, we could pattern it. And we implemented it on the field. And uh, we show it to you in the video that we have gone through uh, uh, the real plan for sewage uh, treatment uh, using uh, membrane technology. Uh, industry does many industry. Uh, water, waste, water to industry oil and gas industry. Even in certain aspect in agriculture industry like palm oil, uh, mill effluent, we do that as well. And um, we do hope we can implement it in medical field as well. So if we could extend this, this is my wish as I mentioned, mashallah, this could have a significant impact, not only to the Muslim country, but to the whole world. Number one, we produce a good product that is water, clean and drinkable water. You know, there are so many diseases initiated, created in water. That's why by removing all these impurities, it will help a lot the health aspect of the people. So, undoubtedly, we use a lot of water daily and imagine if the water that we consume full of bacteria what is going to happen to us so alhamdulillah with this achievement with this uh, innovation invention inshallah it will help the mankind Coming back to the, 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 the world that we are living now, there are many countries like uh, Japan, uh, China, uh, US, and the UK. They are used this uh, mainly because they realize the factors or the effects to the human being life, especially the, the, the health. So by uh, uh, producing or developing new material, there's always uh, a new ways to further improvise the technology. As uh, 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 the, the question asks, I do believe that a lot more than only polyethylene, a lot more material that is uh, probably reusable, you know, uh, recy recyclable that we are developing now. Uh, by myself and my team in University Technology Malaysia at uh, Advanced Membrane Technology Research Centre. We are developing a few other uh, new material that could be used safely, inshallah. Uh, uh, we could implement this immediately. And what I mentioned just now is we are waiting for the takers. If you have the takers, inshallah. We're going to implement it as soon as possible. So how many uh, fiber you use normally? Uh, just only one fiber. This is a sample of the fiber, ultrafiltration member. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Thank you.
like to extend the realm of uh, my research into biomedical uh, field that is the development of uh, dialysis membrane for hemodialysis to treat kidney patients. I would like to develop this to uh, kind of uh, assist or solve uh, people who have infected or affected by kidney failure. Because the, the heart of hemodialyzer is the membrane. So I would like to expand this. Before I retire as a, a professor or lecturer in university, if I could develop this, most likely, inshallah, I can assist or help people who are infected or have a prob kidney problem. And on top of that, I wish before I retire or before Allah, you know, take me away. I'm developing holofiber membrane, uh, flagship membrane, which is uh, nature is uh, uh, non-porous. Uh, so far, uh, the development of reverse osmosis, ultrafiltration membrane is very successful now uh, because uh, I can customize it uh, to suit the need of uh, the, the client or the people, either 500 people, 1,000 people, 10,000 people and so forth. Uh, so far, um, I have implemented a system that producing 500,000 liter per day uh, from a sea water to uh, process it to become a drinking, drinkable water. We call it uh, water, sea water desalination. And I was given the opportunity to serve 53 um, schools in, in my country, Malaysia and a lot more to come uh, and uh, this uh, school some school have uh, uh, one to two thousand people some school very remote which do not get access to uh, a pipe uh, water so 53 schools and i'm i'm also uh, using my expertise to uh, assist and facilitate or, or do the consultancy work for the industry in Malaysia as well, a few industries. And apart from that, we are developing a membrane for fuel cell, development of fuel cell. Uh, this is uh, uh, again uh, another bright future for the, uh, bright, uh, 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 for the future. Uh, and uh, we are also uh, working very closely with Petronas. You know, uh, developing the membrane for uh, CO2 removal. And at the moment, we are collaborating uh, uh, a big grant, a huge grant to us, uh, government to government with uh, Japanese counterpart. And this is in agricultural industry. So this is, I can share with you, and the future is so bright for the technology. So currently, I'm cooperating with a number of universities and center of excellence in, in, in membrane science engineering or membrane technology. Uh, I'm, I'm collaborating with uh, uh, a few uh, universities in, in the UK and in Japan and also in Indonesia and these universities are uh, in, 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 in Canada as well and some of them in this university become my mentor in, in, in this area because they are very uh, experienced. Uh, like I can name it like Professor Takashi Motsura is one of my mentor. He's 87 years old. Uh, we co-publish a book together, a few books, six, seven books, edited books and original books. Um, I'm also collaborating a lot with Japanese uh, university and currently we receive a huge funding this year for the next five years from now. Uh, we are collaborating with uh, Nagoya Institute of Technology. We are also collaborating with other universities as well. 
and with Indonesia we have a lot of uh, uh, um, uh, collaboration in developing membrane for water with water treatment and in the future we would like to have a, a, a membrane for uh, gas separation CO2 removal and so forth and these are universities that uh, really um, uh, practically collaborating with uh, me and my team in UTM and this has been uh, we are working together since for the last 20 years probably the company also play important role as well probably the company have their own uh, R&D center that uh, they would like to produce you know uh, their own commercial product but in my humble opinion uh, the university or the research center could also do that. How we can both increase the productivity or the flux and the purity of the product that is the uh, retained simultaneously. Now, the higher the productivity, the lower the purity. Uh, this is um, the always pondering uh, in my mind, in all other uh, researchers and scientists in my field. But now, slowly, some research have, uh, uh, the gap has been narrow narrowed down. And secondly, to find a more sustainable material that can be used as a membrane material. And secondly, of course, the incorporation of nanotechnology-based material which can uh, improvise the two aspects that I mentioned just now. If this can be done, this technology can penetrate faster in whatever industry that I mentioned earlier. My family, in fact, the, the entire backbone of my success, uh, my, my wife uh, is the real backbone. They taking care, she taking care of the, the family. Bye. Uh, encouraging me and by uh, uh, be with me in whatever situation I am whether I'm happy or unhappy you're always there to cheer me up and uh, on top of that my student my student is now become my staff uh, they also uh, really uh, work hard uh, really passionate and I am really happy that they also adapted and adopted some part of what I encourage them to do. So I knew uh, this Mustafa Prize um, since the inception of the Mustafa Prize that is in 2015 and uh, I was invited by the Secretary of Mustafa Prize in 2019, if I'm not mistaken uh, uh, and I was uh, also involved in participating as a speaker on the same stage as Professor Jackie Ying in that, uh, those days uh, in, uh, Sharif University in Tehran. So to me, um, um, Mustafa Prize uh, paved a way for me to be uh, in contact with many, many uh, Muslim countries, scientists around the world, which is, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm also really grateful uh, for the opportunity uh, given by uh, the Mustafa Prize Secretariat uh, to me many years back. Yeah, number one, 
I always mention this. Research or science and technology is my hobby. You have to have your own hobby. Many people, all people have their hobby, whether in research, something that you do not get it right, it might be an opening door for another aspect in science and engineering. This happened to me a couple of times. That's why something that I do, that I mentioned just now, how come the God gave me an idea to incorporate sodium chloride? Sodium chloride is normally you know, uh, available you know, in the seawater. But how come I took that, only a small portion, added into my, the, the, recipes that, the recipe that I, I'm developing for gas separation? So this has happened to me and I always encourage that. The challenges could be an opportunity for you, open, uh, opening door for you. Number one is appreciate whatever new development in science and engineering. Never look down on a small matters that proposed or developed by researchers or scientists. This could be in the future something that produce a very impactful outcome. Just to share with you, a few years back, the whole world, you know, infected by the COVID-19. I was informed that certain country already studied, developed the vaccine for the last 30 years. So meaning that last 30 years, they foresee this and they develop this and not many people are aware about this vaccine. But when infected, they, found, they already found the solution. They have the solution. Certain country, wow, infected. Now, they just, you know, they just started, you know, to study, to develop the vaccine. How come? Vaccine cannot be, you know, developed overnight. One year, two years. So this is what I mean. Something that... Uh, and very small, but you must have a bigger heart, bigger mind, you know, to capture this. And for you to have a bigger mind, bigger heart, you must have a knowledge. So I encourage all the organizations you mentioned, always collaborate with the researchers, with the scientists. Because researchers and scientists they are not biased. They, what they want is to help. What they want is to assist the community, the people, the country, and you know, people of, from, came from many, many countries in the world. Alhamdulillah. Uh, Allah give me uh, the award as the World Academy of Science Award in 2020. Apart from that, I was also uh, awarded the Merdeka Award or usually they call it the Malaysian uh, Nobel Prize Award in 2000. 14. I also was awarded the Torre Sign and Engineering Award and I was also uh, awarded the Institution of Chemical Engineers Innovator of the Award uh, Malaysian Chapter and during my young uh, 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 time, my young age, I was awarded the ASEAN Young Scientist Award as well as the Malaysian Young Scientist Award. Apart from that, uh, I was also uh, given the award as the top 
Scientist Duo by Clarivet Analytics for uh, four years in the row. And I think that's, <laughs> that's why, all in all, I, I received close to 150 award or 140 awards, sorry, uh, uh, nationally and internationally.